Hello friends, we are going to continue with share capital, right? And we were discussing about one very important topic of share capital that is four feature of shares. So we discussed what is four feature of shares, a person failed, a person failed to pay the call money and the company sent him a 14 day notice subsequent to the notice the person who was the shareholder he did not pay the call money that is he did not pay the call money even after the notice of 14 days then what the company did the company forfeited the shares of that person the company says you are no longer the shareholder of our company company forfeit forfeited the shares now I told you in that case there are three accounts that are basically affected. What are the three accounts that are affected? One is share capital. Share capital is debited. Share capital account debit with amount called up. Because if you have not called up the amount then you cannot debit the share capital because share capital was not credited. So whatever share capital is credited, that is whatever amount is called up, that amount we will debit. Right? Then what are the accounts credited? To forfeited shares. Account with amount received right and what is the other account that is credited to calls in areas clear calls in areas account this is amount called but not received clear so the share capital is debited with the total amount that has been called by the company forfeited shares is credited with the amount that has been received by the company and calls in areas is credited with the amount that is called but not received. So this much is clear friends, right? Now. Then I told you that four feature is for two types of shares. Four feature is for two types of shares. One is issued at par and other one is issued at premium. In the last lecture, we discussed about four feature of the shares that were originally issued at Par. So there were no complications, just the simple entry in which share capital account is debited, forfeiture, forfeited shares account is credited and calls in areas is credited. Now today we are going to do this part. Forfeiture of shares originally issued at premium. Right? Forfeiture of shares issued at premium right in this further we have two cases premium received right then we have premium called but not received we have called for the premium but it has not been received right so we are going to discuss two cases that is what will be the journal entry in these two cases now we discussed in detail about the securities premium remember so if you have received the premium what you do you will credit the premium to a separate account whatever amount of premium you have received you will put that amount in the securities premium 
reserve account isn't it this is what we discussed whatever the premium amount you receive that amount is kept in a separate account that is known as securities premium reserve account clear now at that time i also told you that this securities premium reserve cannot be freely used for the operations of the business that is why it is not a part of capital this securities premium that is received is not a part of share capital why because share capital we are going to use for the routine operations of the business whereas there are restrictions on the use of securities premium reserve that is being governed by companies act 2013 section 52 right section 52 of companies act 2013 put restrictions on the use of securities premium reserve account it says it is not a part of your share capital if you have received premium keep it in your pocket keep it in a separate account that is known as securities premium reserve account do not treat it as your capital clear so this is what we have discussed about securities premium reserve now tell me in case of forfeiture what are the three accounts that are affected one is share capital is securities premium a part of share capital no what is credited to forfeited shares account and to calls in arrears account now calls in there is no question of the securities premium in calls in arrears because that has been already received share capital it is not a part of share capital now you will say sir in the forfeited shares we take the amount that has been received right so securities premium you will say you might say that securities premium will form the part of forfeited shares account i will say no why because securities premium reserve account we have kept it as a separate pocket it is not a part of capital the in the forfeited shares we will only take the part of share capital securities premium reserve once received in your pocket cannot be easily taken out of your pocket there are restrictions by section 52 of companies act 2013 that means you cannot use securities premium for any purpose there are specified purposes for which the securities premium reserve can be used for the for feature of shares securities premium reserve cannot be used so if the securities premium reserve account sorry the securities premium has been received it will be kept in a separate pocket that is known as securities premium reserve account right keep that money in your pocket in that separate pocket and forget about it simple in a layman language just receive the security premium keep it in your pocket right forget about it in for feature now what you are going to do is here here we have amount called up amount called up minus securities premium right we will not consider the securities premium we will consider the actual capital account actual face value amount that has been called we will not consider the securities premium forget about the security premium because this securities premium has been kept in a separate account and this cannot be used for all the purposes right so in the share forfeited account amount received minus securities premium calls in arrears amount called but not received clear 
so this is how you are going to deal if the premium has been received don't worry if you have not understood it we are going to do a practical problem through which you will get the clarity clear in the simple terms i have told you that securities premium is received and kept in a separate pocket that pocket is known as securities premium reserve account you cannot take money out of that pocket without permission of section 52 of companies act 2013 and that section does not allow the use of securities premium reserve for forfeiture of shares so if the premium has been received forget about it reduce it from the share capital it is not a part of share capital remove it from the forfeited shares because forfeited shares are only going to deal with the amount of capital that we have received amount of capital that we have received securities premium is not a part of capital right and calls in areas as you know amount called but not received then what is the second case where we say the premium called but not received in the second case i say premium called but not received right so what is the journal entry in this case now you have not received the premium if you have not received the premium you haven't kept it in the separate pocket known as securities premium you have not kept it now so you can deal with it right so in this case what you are going to do is share capital account debit see share capital will never constitute securities premium remember one thing because it is a not not a part of your capital capital is something that we are going to use for the routine operations of the business securities premium we cannot use for the routine operations so it will be amount called minus securities premium because securities premium is not my part of capital then you will debit the securities premium account securities premium reserve account debit why because this securities premium reserve was due what is the entry for due say on allotment share allotment to share capital to securities premium reserve this securities premium reserve was due but has not been received if not received you have not kept it in your separate pocket then you can deal with it anyway what you are going to do is you will debit this amount with the amount of premium right then to forfeited shares this is simple amount received and to calls in arrears this is amount called but not received this amount will be including premium right because here we are debiting the premium so we'll have the credit effect also only then it will cancel out so this is the journal entry in case the premium is called but not received right so in case you receive the premium then forget about the premium it is kept in your separate pocket just subtract the premium whatever from the capital from the forfeited shares if you have not received it then you have to subtract it from the share capital because always remember securities premium is never a part of your capital it is always kept in a separate account that is known as securities premium reserve account and there are restrictions imposed by companies act 2013 section 52 right which deals with securities premium it has put the restrictions for the purposes for which the premium can be used clear 
so now if you have not received the premium you will not keep this premium in your pocket you haven't received it so you can debit this premium you can reverse this premium right so the securities premium reserve account will be debited now let's do a practical problem and have the full clarity of it right write down the example company issued 10000 shares of rupees 10 each payable as 4 on application 10 each at premium of rupees 2 4 on application right 5 on allotment and 3 on first and final call how this 5 this is 3 for the call capital plus 2 for the premium so 5 is called on allotment and 3 on first and final call that means the premium is called on allotment clear so I'll take the same example Mr. X applied for all the shares right now we'll take two cases First case is Mr. X failed to pay first call, right? And shares are forfeited, right? Second is Mr. X failed to pay allotment money right and shares are forfeited now in the first case mr x failed to pay the first call that means we made all the calls right we received four on application we received 5 on allotment that is we have received premium of rupees 2 right but we did not receive the first and final call so this is the case one where premium has been received now let us pass the journal entry for this case one what are the three accounts that are affected share capital share capital account debit now think of it what we can do what is amount called up on 10,000 shares what is the amount called up what is the amount called up 4 plus 5 plus 3 5 9 and 3 12 you will say 12 rupees but I say exclude premium because premium is not a part of our capital right so 12 minus 2 actually the capital of rupees 10 the face value rupees 10 is called up remember always one straightforward thing you have to take the face value that's it easy for you whatever is the face value move according to the face value right so what is the face value 10 is called that is 1 lakh rupees is called now to forfeited shares account now what is the amount that has been received amount received is 4 on application and 5 on allotment out of this 5 2 is premium that has been received so total received is 9 but we have to reduce this premium because this premium is now kept in a separate pocket this is not in the capital pocket this is kept in a separate pocket and this pocket cannot be used for this four feature of shares simply remember this 
so what is the amount that has been received and now forfeited 70000 rupees what is left calls in areas to calls in areas account how much on 10000 shares at the rate of rupees 3 30000 this much is clear friends so this is how we are going to deal with the four feature of shares in case the shares are issued at a premium and premium has been received just remember one thing that premium is received and kept in a separate pocket so it is not a part of capital we will reduce the capital by premium it is not the part of forfeited shares account because that is kept in a separate pocket and we cannot take the amount out of that pocket until and unless for the purpose specified by section 52 subsection 3 of companies act 2013 and it does not allow taking out money out of that pocket for for feature of shares very simple right and calls in areas amount called but not received clear i hope this entry is absolutely clear to you right now take the second case mr x failed to pay allotment money and his shares are forfeited he failed to pay the allotment money he failed to pay premium very simple premium has not been received called but not received premium has been called but not received right what will be the journal entry in this case share capital share capital account debit now tell me on 10000 shares what is the amount called up first call has not been made because he failed to pay the allotment money and subsequently his shares are forfeited so what is the amount called 9 rupees out of this 9 rupees 2 rupees is the securities premium which is never a part of our capital so how much money has been called up 70000 rupees clear so to forfeited shares account sorry 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 here the securities premium has not been received if it is not received you haven't kept it in your separate pocket so that can be dealt with what is the amount of so the securities premium will be debited securities premium reserve account debit on 10000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 20000 clear now to forfeited shares what is the amount that has been received on rupees 10000 we have received rupees 4 40000 and what is the amount that has not been received to calls in areas on 10000 shares you were called 5 rupees and you have not received 5 rupees is it clear very simple when you have not received the securities premium you have not kept it in your separate pocket then you can deal with the securities premium now why it is debited see if you have not received the allotment money what journal entry would you have passed you would have passed the journal entry as share allotment share allotment account debit right to share capital to securities premium reserve account how much on the share capital 10000 into 5 50000 Thirty thousand is the part of capital, and twenty thousand is separate. That is securities premium. Now this twenty thousand has not been received. It has not been kept in a separate pocket. So you can reverse this entry, right? 
you are debiting share capital to cancel the effect right you you will debit the securities premium to cancel the effect and the total of these two you will credit as calls in arrears this this share capital is being dealt here the securities premium is being dealt here and the total of these two share allotment is being credited as 50000 clear so you can only deal with the securities premium reserve account only when you have not received and not kept it in your pocket if you have kept it in your pocket if you have received it then you cannot take it out for the four feature then you will have to pass this entry where you will have to reduce the amount of securities premium from the capital as well as from the amount that is received very simple logic if you have not received it then your pocket is empty you haven't kept it in your pocket so company law cannot govern your pocket company law is only governing your pocket there is nothing in your pocket so you can deal with the securities premium reserve you can reverse this premium reserve because this premium reserve is no longer receivable what is the meaning of this entry this entry is amount due this entry is amount due now this amount is not due this is not receivable so you can reverse the entry simple i hope this is clear to you friends right so this is for feature of shares issued at a premium it can be the premium has been received or premium called but not received if it is received it is kept in a separate pocket you cannot take it out for the four feature because it is governed by companies act 2013 companies act 2013 section 52 has locked your pocket and they say you cannot use this money for four feature so reduce the amount of capital reduce the amount received by the securities premium amount but if you have not received the premium then you can deal with the securities premium reserve account then there is no lock there is no lock on the pocket by companies act they say reverse the entry debit the securities premium but it must be reduced from the share capital because securities premium reserve account is never a part of share capital share capital is something that we are going to use for the routine operations of the business but securities premium reserve account we cannot use for all the operations this cannot be freely used for the operations of the business clear i hope this is clear friends right so if you have any queries just send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com right so friends in the next lecture what we are going to do is reissue of reissue sorry reissue of four period shares right so this is in the next lecture what we are going to do is reissue of forfeited shares right friends uh, very soon we'll be launching the website also right for ksj teaching from where you will be able to download all the notes and questions right so stay tuned i'll let you know when the website is being launched it is under preparation right from there you will be able to download all the notes and questions right and we will be preparing some test series also so i will let you know as soon as the process is completed right so thank you so much friends that's all for this lecture